Hello everyone. Um, here's just a quick little example in answer to a forum question about rotating objects in and out or onto the screen. Um, I've got a project here that I already did some time ago and I'm just kind of going to go briefly over the steps of what it takes. I have my main background image in track number one and then I have my objects in the other tracks below that. Once you have your object placed in a track, highlight it, click on modify, which will open PIP Designer. Then click on the Add Edit Motion tab and click on the green X to create a custom motion path. Now as we can see, I already have a motion path. At the first keyframe, I have my object placed off screen. We move ahead to the last keyframe, and I'll try to center up this <laughs> image here a little bit. We see that at the last keyframe, I have my object in its ending position, which is in the middle of the screen. And then the only other addition I made to this is I entered a value of 698 on this particular item and then one clicks on these buttons here to decide whether it rotates clockwise or counterclockwise. So basically you have a motion path that starts off screen and it moves across to the middle of the screen. And since I added the rotating element to it, when we play back, we can see that the gear rotates. Then we click on Save. I'm going to open up some of these other tracks here now. You have a second object in track number four. Same procedure. Click Modify. which opens PIP Designer. Click on the Add Edit Motion tab. And on this one, the object starts off screen on the other side. And as I move the scrubber along, it ends in the middle. And for this particular object, I added a rotation of 183 degrees for some reason. And uh, I chose a uh, counterclockwise rotation. You don't have to add the rotation. If you don't add the rotation, the image will just stay in its position and slide across the screen. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack this project and upload it to a file sharing site. Pamco Machine Works. Industrial repair experts since 1967. And anyone who uh, subscribes to PD Toots on YouTube just uh, send us a PM and I'll send you a link to where you can download the pack project folder. Um, it'll be a zipped folder. You just need to unzip it and extract the contents. Then double click on the PDS file and it'll open up in your power director 9 and 10. It probably won't open up in earlier versions of power director. But that way you can see exactly how the project was constructed. You can click on the various tracks, click on Modify, open up PIP Designer and the other rooms and see exactly how the motion paths and other elements um, were put together to create this particular project. Also, for more information on creating motion paths, please check out some of the other tutorials on PD Toots, especially the PIP motion and keyframe basics tutorial and also the highlighting and the uh, even the blur effect. Um, the tutorial that you may choose to watch may not be what you want to do but the exact same keyframe principles for creating a motion path are the same for everything in PowerDirector. Director.